Hi everyone, Admiral Seabass here. Welcome to my war room in Indianapolis, Indiana. Italy, turn number two. And boy, did I spend a lot of time thinking about this one. And uh, finally settled on with their 13 bucks. They are going to buy a sub, a transport, and a tech roll, which I will do now for wartime economy. And uh, they already have improved shipyards, so that transport and sub only cost 11 bucks. Normally would have cost 13 So let's do the wartime economy roll now, and uh, we're looking for a 7 or higher here. So let's see what, what we got. Ha, <laughs> another one. Wow. If you've been watching this game series, uh, you'll be shocked at uh, the roll of another one there. So uh, there's two more bucks there. And, uh, okay, now let me show you my combat moves. As you can see, this is going to be a super busy turn for Italy here. I decided they would go for broke. Uh, given the factory there in Persia and the imminent entrance of the U.S. potentially coming into the Med, also the threat of the British there, Italians decided they got to go for it. So we're going to hit Greece, Syria, Alexandria, Tunisia and Anglo Egypt Sudan here. And uh, strategy here is let's go for broke on Egypt next turn. Let's tighten the vice there on Egypt by hitting Syria and making um, the UK have to think about an Iraq invasion next turn before Italy can get there. Let's uh, hit Greece really hard with the help of our battleship. Let's keep the cruiser there to protect the homeland. Um, and uh, let, let's get going here. So I've already got Greece set up on the battle board over there so uh, let me pause it here and uh, we'll be back with the Greece fight. So here's the fight for Greece you can see I've got a new, a white neutral uh, guy uh, there for the Greece um, right for the Greeks right now they will become British if uh, the Italians lose this fight. I got the uh, bombardment there two tanks and two infantry so um, let's go ahead and do the bombardment first we'll just roll that one separately so here's the battleship and he hits that's good and then uh, two black dice, two blue dice, and another red dice. Need three more hits. Yeah, man, we got them. So uh, the Greeks go down on the first turn, and they get four green dice back. Ooh, pretty nice for the Greeks. They get uh, they get uh, two hits. So now I'm thinking. Do you take both guys? Or, see that transport sitting there? He can take two units down and hit Egypt next turn. So, uh, but he can't take two tanks. So, um, I'm going to take one of the tanks as a loss. Because I'm wanting both of these guys to go down and hit Egypt next turn. Um, and I can't take both tanks. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so let me uh, get the stuff reset here, and then I'll be back. So there's what Greece looks like now that the Italians have taken it over. And uh, the bomber here has uh, four movement points left on non-combat. Uh, this is just a walk-in here. So we will put that there. Both those guys came from um, northern Italy on that transport along with the battleship. So up one, down one there. And... Um, Got to try to make the British sweat a little bit here. Um, and then obviously that tank and guy can come down into Egypt next turn. Um, so uh, let me get some of these other battles set up and then I'll show you what happens. This is the battle in Anglo-Egypt Sudan. So I already got the Italian dice here. They need two hits. They got one. So French guy will get lost. And the allies will shoot back with two dice. Sorry about my finger there. And they got a hit. So there's one Italian guy lost. So now the Italians shoot back. And they got the hit they needed. So the British will shoot back with the green dice. And they got a hit too. So Italians took it. But uh, lost two guys. So let's go down here. Put the Italian pie there, artillery, and the guy there. And then those guys can go into Egypt next turn. 
and converge on Egypt. And they got away from the British guys coming up from South Africa here, which was very important. So they're part, they're going to lose, basically gave up Ethiopia in exchange for Anglo-Egypt, Sudan, and the ability to maybe join on the Egypt assault next turn. So I kind of liked that strategically. Then you combine that with the guys coming down from Greece, and I think Egypt's going to be tough to keep next turn. So uh, let's go ahead and do the Alexandria attack. Only one guy defending. So we'll have three at one. Uh, no, four at one, two at two, and one at three by my count. So it's four guys and a mech. Those are all at one. One of those gets upscaled, though. So that becomes four at one, two at two, and one at three. I think one, two, three, four. Yeah, four at one, two at two, and one at three. So four blacks, two of those. Just looking for one hit. Well, we got one hit. That's all we needed. So the allies will shoot back with the green dice. Oops. And they missed. So let me grab an Italian pie. And that will mean the bonus for UK is gone because they just lost an originally controlled Europe territory. So... There's that, and then we got this fight here, which is one at one, two at two, versus one at two. So, two greens and a black for the Italians. Just need one hit. Nothing. French guy shoots back. Nothing. Italians again. There, they got it. And the French guy shoots back, and he hits. So... Italians lose a guy, French lose a guy, Italians take Tunisia for a buck, French down, Italians up, take the target off, yeah, that's it, so uh, Italians picked up four bucks versus where they were last turn, two for Greece, one for Syria, one for Tunisia, Actually, five. One for Anglo, Egypt, Sudan. And I'll have to check to make sure the Italians' uh, income is correct. Maybe need to be on 17. I'll have to check that. But they also picked up Alexandria. So yeah, let me do my uh, non-combats and I'll be back. So actually, I have no non-combat. I pretty much moved everybody that I wanted to move. So I'm going to grab these two guys. And they are going to go here. Sorry, right there. And then I did check, and I was one short. So they're going to collect 17 plus 5. But you know why? There's no allied surface warships in the Mediterranean. So Italy's going to collect $22. More importantly, I think Italy's position strategically is really interesting right now. Um, uh, they're definitely threaten threatening Egypt from three sides. All that stuff in Alexandria. All that stuff in Anglo-Egypt, Sudan. And they can bring down, oh shoot, I didn't move this guy back. He needs to go back to here. He's going to go back. You know, Northern Italy is probably just as good as Southern. No, I'll do Southern Italy for him. Did forget to move him back. Um, so they got a lot of stuff that can go into Egypt. They can move into Iraq and claim those three guys if the UK doesn't move in first. And two guys in a tank, maybe some air from there, is going to be needed to take Iraq out if you're the UK. Uh, also, with that transport, they're now a threat projection west as well, or south. Um, so a lot of flexibility next turn. Plus, maybe the Germans put some navy down there. Um, and uh, as backup for Italy. So Italy's looking pretty good right now, I think. Now, maybe some of you could say, well, maybe they're not, or here's what I would do. But um, considering where they started the game, I think Italy's looking pretty good uh, right now. And more importantly, I think you're, if you're the Axis, you're forcing those American units to think that they're going into the Med now versus up here, which is really good for Germany. Um, 
and now makes um, uh, the um, uh, sea lion, I think, a little more on the table as a way to put the Americans on their heels. So, uh, 22 bucks Italy uh, will collect, and that'll do it for Italian Turn 2. Thanks, everyone. Admiral Seabass out.